Hello and welcome to this video. It is true that the scheduling of interviews did not progress at most of your embassies and consulates during the course of last week, which means that hardly anyone received their interview notification. But that is not the case when it comes to the conduct of interviews. As a matter of fact, interviews were conducted during the course of last week as part of the DV 2024 program. And so today I'm here to share with you the highest case number ranges where interviews have already taken place at your different embassies and consulates. So let's go into that and our first embassy today is Libreville Gabon where the highest case number range where interviews have already taken place remains 64,700 plus. Rangoon, Burma has increased to 11,000 plus. In Seoul, South Korea, the Africa region remains at 39,100 plus, the Asia region remains at 8,400 plus, and the Europe region remains at 16,000 plus. Colombo, Sri Lanka has increased to 10,100 plus. Johannesburg, South Africa has also increased to 65,800 plus. In Frankfurt, Germany, the Africa region remains at 61,400 plus, the Asia region remains at 12,500 plus, and the Europe region has increased to 26,000 plus. In Djibouti, the Africa region remains at 56,900 plus, and the Asia region has increased to 12,600 plus. Tirana, Albania has increased to 27,400 plus. In Kathmandu, Nepal, the Africa region remains at 51,600 plus. The Asia region remains at 7,800 plus, and the Oceania region remains at 1,600 plus. In Mumbai, India, the Africa region has increased to 58,000 plus. The Asia region remains at 12,400 plus and the Europe region remains at 15,400 plus. In Warsaw, Poland, the Africa region remains at 29,800 plus and the Europe region remains at 21,600 plus. Dakar, Senegal remains at 25,100 plus. Dar es Salaam, Tanzania remains at 31,000 600 plus with two cases of exception already interviewed from the 35,800 plus and the 36,700 plus case number ranges. In Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the Africa region has increased to 49,900 plus and the Asia region has also increased to 11,600 plus. Abidjan Africos has increased to 67,400 plus. In Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, the Africa region remains at 51,600 plus. The Asia region remains at 7,800 plus, and the Europe region remains at 18,400 plus. Accra, Ghana remains at 6,200 plus. In Napoli, Italy, the Africa region remains at 67,400 plus, the Asia region remains at 9,400 plus, and the Europe region has increased to 24,200 plus. Suva, Fiji remains at 1,900 plus. In London, the UK, the Africa region remains at 66,000 plus, the Asia region remains at 9,400 plus, the Europe region remains at 26,000 plus and the Oceania region remains at 1,300 plus. In Montreal, Canada, the Africa region remains at 51,500 plus. The Asia region has increased to 12,000 plus. The Europe region remains at 27,100 plus. The Oceania region remains at 1,700 plus and the South America region remains at 2,300 plus. In Abu Dhabi, the UAE, the Africa region remains at 41,300 plus, the Asia region remains at 8,900 plus, and the Europe region remains at 16,100 plus. 
In Auckland, New Zealand, the Asia region remains at 8,700 plus and the Oceania region remains at 1,800 plus. Cotonou Benin remains at 67,400 plus. Lusaka Zambia remains at 59,900 plus. Monrovia Liberia has increased to 66,600 plus. Luanda Angola remains at 55,100 plus with a case of exception already interviewed from the 67,000 plus case number range. In Manila, the Philippines, the Africa region remains at 56,900 plus and the Europe region remains at 17,000 plus. A reminder that these are the highest case number ranges where interviews have already taken place at your different embassies and consulates as part of the DV 2024 program. We continue with Kinshasa, the DROC, and that embassy remains at 16,100 plus. Tunis, Tunisia remains at 67,200 plus. In Doha, Qatar, the Africa region remains at 56,100 plus. The Asia region remains at 12,600 plus and the Europe region remains at 13,200 plus. Lome Togo has increased to 60,200 plus. Freetown Sierra Leone remains at 53,400 plus. Tbilisi Georgia remains at 27,400 plus. In Cairo, Egypt, the Africa region has increased to 35,500 plus. The Asia region remains at 11,000 plus and the Europe region remains at 4,000 plus. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia remains at 20,800 plus with two cases of exception already interviewed from the 46,100 plus and 55,200 plus case number ranges. Tokyo, Japan remains at 12,600 plus. Yaoundé, Cameroon has increased to 57,800 plus. In Yerevan, Armenia, the Asia region has increased to 10,000 plus and the Europe region remains at 20,900 plus. In Jakarta, Indonesia, the Africa region has increased to 57,500 plus. The Asia region remains at 9,800 plus and the Europe region remains at 17,000 plus. In Ankara, Turkey, the Africa region remains at 10,500 plus. The Asia region remains at 6,800 plus and the Europe region remains at 5,300 plus with a case of exception already interviewed from the 8,000 plus case number range. Harare, Zimbabwe remains at 64,500 plus. Islamabad, Pakistan remains at 12,900 plus. Manama, Bahrain remains at 55,800 plus. Nairobi, Kenya remains at 61,600 plus with a case of exception already interviewed from the 66,200 plus case number range. In Kuwait, the Africa region remains at 58,300 plus and the Asia region has increased to 11,600 plus. The Longwe Malawi remains at 52,700 plus. Kigali, Rwanda remains at 24,000 plus. Casablanca, Morocco remains at 50,300 plus. Antananarivo, Madagascar remains at 42,800 plus. In Amman, Jordan, the Africa region remains at 54,300 plus and the Asia region has increased to 12,600 plus. In Paris, France, the Africa region remains at 60,000 plus. The Asia region remains at 6,400 plus and the Europe region remains at 26,000 900 plus. Havana, Cuba remains at 2,900 plus. And finally, Algiers, Algeria has increased to 59,900 plus. 
So that is what concerns interviews that have already taken place at their different embassies and consulates. Now, let's hope that during the course of this week, new interviews will be scheduled as part of the DV 2024 program so that during the upcoming weekend, you will receive an updated report concerning the scheduling of interviews at your different embassies and consulates. But for now, that is all that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. See you, God willing, in the next one. Goodbye.